All right, guys, this is gonna be the bonus for my Capricorns out there. I know this one isn't gonna be for everybody, Capricorn or Capricorn Cross Watcher, but I, I knew we had to get another one because I was getting two completely different messages, the first one I got, and then this one's very different. This one's spicy. In fact, emphasis on spice, like nutmeg, nut, nutmeg, <laughs> pumpkin spice, fall drinks, fall candles, orange candles, I'm seeing orange candles, Orange candles, brown candles, cream colored candles, warm cashmere amber, nice folly decorations, leaves, mm, cinnamon, pumpkin spice, pecan, pineapple spice, candles. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of candles, smell goods, cornucopias, things like that. Okay, but your title here in this one is Turning Up the Sugar. Unless somebody here just got a really big sweet tooth because I got a big sweet tooth too. And I need to go to the dentist again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. But yeah, I got a big sweet tooth too. Like sweet drinks, sweet beverages. Like maybe even um, really creamy, yummy coffees and um, decadent little desserts. See, my mouth is watering now. And little nice drinks and um, I see like refrigerated sections. Like refrigerated section drinks. Um, so if not going through a drive through and getting one of the pre-made blended beverages that are like really folly or coffee-ish, uh, cream, uh, I said cream, the fuck, um, I see somebody going to like, you know how you can get those cold drinks and, uh, they're in the section, whatever, gas stations. You can get those cold drinks and they get like energy drinks, but they're but not necessarily. And they give you energy and they, they're like different flavors, like fall holiday flavors. That's what I see here. Um, some of you could also, if you're drinkers, I know not everybody's a drinker here, but for some of you who are drinkers, you may, if you pass the beer aisle, especially beer is what I'm seeing, you may pass a beer aisle and see a fall flavored beer. You may try a new beer this month. That's not for everybody. You know, I'm not a drinker, but for those of you who are, no judgment. You may you may see a fall flavored beer. Maybe you already like a fall flavored beer or an ale. You're gonna try a new ale. <laughs> anyway, so turning up the sugar, literally somebody's sweet tooth. But I think this is a person. I think this is someone here who's feeling like romantic for you, sweet for you, sweet on you, very highly attracted to you. If you're with somebody. I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's something about the weather. Maybe it's something about the way you're smelling, looking in the kitchen. Maybe it's something about, I, I don't know. But if you're in a relationship watching me, lots of cuddling, lots of cuddling. Probably a little more wanting you than usual. Maybe they always want you, but you know, they gonna really want you here in the near future because it's getting cold. Or for some of us around the world, it's getting cold. And so they want to like cuddle. They want to put their feet on your feet they want to come over even if you're single I feel like somebody's gonna to want to cuddle you they want to cuddle in you they want to you know are you in them or wrapped around just snuggles okay I can't get over seeing an orange candle somebody with an orange candle maybe just be careful where it's at where you light it where the flame goes or I guess make sure you blow it out or watch the ember or something I don't know but um yeah, so turning up the sugar, sugar, sugar. Oh, you know what song I'm hearing? They call me Mr. Boombastic. Can <laughs> <Be> fantastic? <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. Oh, sugar, sugar. How's it go? She call me Mr. Boombastic. Shaggy, see? Shaggy. Somebody with rugs and shag. Shag me, shag me, shag me, baby. Yeah, shag me. <laughs> Um, Austin, Austin or Austin, maybe something to do with Texas, maybe something to do with powers, power, power, powers. <laughs> oh, what you want is some boombastic, romantic, fantastic lover. I told you, told you. I see pretty nails too. I see somebody getting their nails painted really beautifully. That's if you paint your nails. No, 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 mama. No, no. It's a pretty girl, can't help it, but has to help it now. I say, no, mama, no, no, mama. She called me Mr. Boombastic, tell me, fantastic, touch me in a, touch me in the back. She says, I'm Mr. Romantic, call me fantastic. Okay, basically, I don't even have to read all this. With a sexual physique, you know I'm built well. 
I'm like a turtle crawling out of my shell. Gal, you captivate my body, put me under a spell. Yeah. Oh, so he's talking about her perfume. Yeah, somebody looks really good here. I can't get over, like, um, smelling really well, dressing really well. I mean, even if you're in loungewear, especially if you're a woman here, look well. You look well. Um, your nails look nice. I don't know, you always take care of yourself or something. Even if you're a masculine here, like when you go somewhere, you look fucking to the nines. Like, I don't give a shit what you're wearing, what you're doing. You look really nice. That's true, though. That's really true. I mean, you don't have to be a Capricorn watching this, but to me, that's really true for Capricorns. Capricorn, women, especially. But the men, too. You know, you can see a Capricorn from across the room and be like, that's probably a Capricorn and it's like why you know because you can just tell the way they carry themselves the way they the way they, even their vehicles you can tell a Capricorn usually has a nice vehicle or they take care of what vehicle they have I don't care if it's on its third if it's only got three legs <laughs> three tires or the other one's just kind of you know or they got a donut on one it doesn't matter you hear this chair it squeaks too I don't know what it doesn't mean squeaky chairs but um, Capricorn takes care. But even even if what they can have and what they do have, they keep it nice. Nice shoes. If they love shoes, they gonna keep those shoes pristine. If they love their nails, they're gonna keep their nails really pristine if they're able to. Unless they work a lot with their hands, they'll still take care of them afterwards. If um, if it's their hair, they really care about. They're gonna take care of that hair. If it's their teeth, they really care about. They're gonna take care of that teeth. Like it doesn't matter. They will take care of of the body. They'll take care of the things they really love, and and especially a partner. And so, yeah. If you're single here, I don't know. You got somebody looking at you, Mister Mister Lover. It's Mister Lover. Or you're Mr. Lover and you're looking at someone. And so uh, you would say, well, she called me Mr. Bombastic. Like this is someone who's confident. You know? <laughs> who's very confident in who they are, you know? I, I see beautiful relationships here, which is nice. It's not a, that's something I see super often. I do see it. A lot of times I see it for Scorpios. Um, yeah, I see you in a beautiful relationship and your partner really loving you, vice versa, you really loving your partner. But a lot of you, I think you're single here and you've got someone who wants you, especially during the holidays. Maybe it's something about the holidays that reminds them of you. I mean, a lot of you, you may have birthdays around the holidays. I mean, think about like New Year's or, um, I said New Year's, New Year, something like that. Sorry, I'm getting a vision. I saw something about a cell phone. I don't know. Unless you're getting a new phone. Someone could be getting something new here. Or there's something to do with a phone. I saw somebody picking up a phone and getting on it. It was a cell phone. Anyways. Hi, ACP girl. Any go poo-poo parties? To go outside and go and go with the poo-poo's the parties. It's a go with the go with the poo-poo's the parties. And yeah, it's a poo-poo's the parties. So anyway. You just want someone to be real with you. You just want someone, you value and treasure a person who's real, who's, she's wanting to play, who's honest, who's authentic. So if you are single and on the market, you you know, sexy is fine and cool is fine and swag is fine and smooth is fine and all that. Yeah, but you need someone who's going to have, she's biting me, going to have, you know, integrity and be focus and like know what they want out of life know where they're going this could even be if you're single something that comes together and you and the person may be both divorced or you and the person one of you has been with somebody probably before because I sense like this like no nonsense type of um you know don't come to me with any fake shit she's playing with me down here <laughs> so I'm trying not to laugh because she gets more rough I think I'm about to have to take her out. You just want somebody who's real, who's mature, who, uh, you know, yeah, everything else is really nice and it's cute and it might make you smile and it might make your panties wet. I don't know, TMI. But man or woman, whoever you're into, but you still want someone who's really honest and focused and they know what they want and they're not going to bring any nonsense to you. And, um, you know, I mean, 
is done fast. Very, very fast. Um, also here, somebody may, may have something for you at the workplace. Now, that does not mean you work with this person. You could work from home. You get something to do with, maybe it's not workplace. Maybe it's somewhere you go. That could be anywhere. I'm not thinking it's a store. I'm thinking it's somewhere you go. Like maybe your kid's school. Maybe maybe uh, vice versa. Your child's school or the library. I'm not seeing that. I'm seeing like either maybe somewhere you work out, possibly somewhere you get drinks. Maybe you go into their job or it's at a school. Like I'm literally seeing a school. That's not for everybody. But I'm definitely seeing that. And if it's not you and you're like, no, that part doesn't resonate with me. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a person on your mind. They get, they got somebody at the school. School, school board, school events, um, sports events, things like that. Like, damn. Damn, little shawty. Damn. Maybe at the park, even. I see, a, I see a park, so it could be something like that. But someone's just going to be like, oh my God, you know? And then I feel like someone might even try to make it like not about something at first, but trust and believe they were hiding a boner in their pants or something. You know what I mean? I feel like this has already happened. You're going to see them again. But if not, this is coming. If someone's going to be hiding something, they're going to be tucking it. Their name's going to be Tucker for the day. <laughs> Tucker, because they are just tucking it. And it's just because, damn, you look really good. And you smell really fucking good. Especially, especially. If you're a woman here now you don't have to be a woman you can be a man because the men smell real good too but the women though it's like oh my god and they're trying to like look at your fingers to see if you're married I mean, you could be you could be married oh that would be bad you know and they're like man look at those eyes someone do with your eyes boys somebody I've been picking up on for months now has had some gorgeous eyes man or woman just like really really nice sexy eyes and smells really good looks really good carries themselves really well it's probably you i'm just saying capricorn across the washer and yeah so she's looking at me now she's wanting to go outside this is a sweet message sweet see i told you it's something to do with uh, turning up the sugar turning up you know someone's gonna flirt with you they may be like yeah Hey, how you doing? They have sweet little sweet on you. Someone's sweet on you. Sweet tooth. They have a sweet tooth for you. They may want to eat you. I don't know. I mean, not like Edward Dean or something like just, or make like a lampshade out of your cooch meat. I don't know. I'm just saying they are sweet on you. Like, and, and usually during the holidays, I said I would go, didn't I? Usually during the holidays, what do people usually do? Not everybody, but some of us have less strength in the matter when it comes to what eating shit gaining 20 pounds because we eating shit we're not supposed to be eating and our guts hurt we have bubble guts for days because we're not supposed to have cheese or cream or all kinds of shit and then we're on diets and we start a lot of us start diets right before and then we're like oh we got that new year's resolution we're <laughs> our new year resolution we're gonna stop we're not gonna do this anymore. And then what do we do? We just, we do it again. But you know, maybe not this year. No, not this year, I tell you. But someone's got it bad for you. This is actually a really sexy message. If, the, if, if in fact you're single and you're interested at all, period. I mean, sometimes we get to the age where we're just like, fuck this shit, I'm just gonna, I'm ready to die alone like you know and not sad either I'm happy I can be I can be much better off by myself less headache I'm not gonna argue with nobody I ain't gonna worry about them cheating on me getting them tested every month I'm just going to be alone and then boom out of nowhere <laughs> someone comes in and they're just like yeah it's cool um we're just associates and whatever we're just friends and all and yeah it's great sending subliminals like they're sending subliminals you know just kind of like i wonder if you can tell telepathically that i'm really undressing you with my eyes kenya 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 kendra kenya kenya canyon arizona there's so much here i see so much fall like i can't even like there's so much to do with fall here 
fall, maybe like a fall festival is important here, a fall party, a fall decoration, Halloween party, something to do with a party or something, they're gonna, they want you to be there or some shit, I know that's not for everybody, but I'm getting that too, you know, maybe some of you, if you're already in a relationship, you're just gonna have something really nice at home, decorate, get the home kind of in, in season, like make it look really nice, so when your person comes home, it just it puts them in the mood like for romance for love to love all over you because of how you take care of a home or that body though I just that body you know the body that ass everything your fucking hair I mean you know you just really know how to do it honestly you okay tell me you gotta tell me tell me on go side tell me Tell me. All right, we're gonna go outside. Thank you guys for being here with me. Oh, there she goes, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.